Okay, Ryan wants to charm his way back into his wife's heart. Oh. Ryan, oh. What, what's going on? How long you been with your wife? I've been with my wife almost 10 years. Yes. Oh, okay. And now that, you know, I've, been, I've never been with nobody else. I've only, this is a woman I love. Right. Ever since I've seen her in high school, I've passed around classes, every, every class change, always made eye contact. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. The moment I thought, that's the most beautiful woman in the world, that's the person who I want to be with for the rest of my life. Aww. And now that we were married for almost 10 years, we have a beautiful son. Wonderful. Well, great. Okay, so what's the problem? That sounds good. The problem is, is that my wife has recently moved her boyfriend into our home. Aww. Okay, wait, wait. All right, so you broke up with your wife. Well, not, well, we separated. You we, separated. We got together and figured the best thing was us for us to separate. Because was, what problems were you having? Well, I was always working. Um, and then by the time, you know, long hours after work, it seemed like she was always by herself. I, I, I text her phone and I see that he is, or she's getting messages. So I was like, well, who, 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 who could be messaging you at this time of late? And I looked. Apparently, it's one of my acquaintances, uh, I thought was one of my friends, has been texting my wife. Oh. Is that when you decided to leave? I thought it would be best for us to leave. Yes, okay. To separate. So you separated. Now, you left the house you were in. Correct. She's still there with your child. Correct. Okay. And now she's moved someone else in? Yes. And you said boyfriend. Yes. Supposedly now this is her boyfriend that she didn't tell me about. Okay. Oh, so this is a boyfriend. He has stepped into the picture. After you separated? Yes. So he wasn't the cause of you guys separating? No. Oh, okay. And you, you still love your wife? Yes, I love my wife very much. You want her back? Yes, and I And that's I why do. you're here? Yes. But with another guy living in the house, and I assume they're sleeping together in boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah, I don't like it at all. You're right, yeah. <laughs> so you're here basically to, you're here to tell him to... Yeah, it's it got to go. I don't want him in my house no more. He's got to go. Yeah. Have you spoken to her about it? What does she say when you say, hey, I want you back, I love you, I'm coming back home, get rid of him? What does she say? Well, she looked at me and told me, you know, you need to stand up for me or you need to stand up for us, that you're not the man I thought you were. And it made me sad because I want to be there for her. I want to be and prove to her that I'm the man that she wants me to be. Yeah. So you're here basically to man up and man up Good. and get him out of the picture to where I can have my family back together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever met this other guy? I have. He was almost, like I said, he was almost one of my friends. Right, he was an acquaintance. An yeah, acquaintance, a, a friend of, from work. Or yeah. a friend I knew here where he worked. And it was like every time we kind of went out or did something as a family, he would kind of always kind of come over or invite, invited. And then eventually kind of shoved me to the side a little bit. There was Ooh. more involvement with so him. So you think he might always have had interest in her? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, here, you can talk to him. Here he is. Here's Stephen. You ain't nothing but a Nobody, Daddy. I've always been this. I'm with your wife now. It's over between y'all. Y'all have been been separated for over a year now. You treat her like you don't step up to her. I'm the one who takes care of your son. Oh, so you're the one now saying you take care of my son with what? No job. Hey. So you got no job to help support him. Hey, but I, I, I work on cars, okay? I do that under the table to make me money. I got a full-time job that I help all take care of them. But you're never with them. Never. Yeah, I'm always out there working overtime. Y'all are done. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of you calling her, telling her you love her, telling her you want to be with her, how's her day. It's over. It's over. What does she tell you about him? She tells me he's a. He don't. He don't. 
He don't stand up for it, never. Never. He, he walk, go walking down the street, somebody bumps into her. He don't say nothing. Just walks away. <laughs> you, you okay? Yeah, okay. But the thing is, they're married still. So if you're interested in her, why wouldn't you say to her, look, if you want to have a relationship with me, you can't still be married to him. And I'm sure you've raised that issue. What does she, what does she say? Because she hasn't divorced She's him. She's filed for divorce. He will sign the papers. Well, why don't we find out? Let's bring her out. Here is Tanya. Yeah, what's going on? That's your husband, but you're now with him? Yes. What do you want to say? Ryan never, we were married 10 years. 10 years. And now you want to stand up for me because I found somebody else. Where were you when I was unhappy and I told you I was unhappy? And what'd you say? You knew. Okay, do something about it. You would never stand up for me. Your family made fun of me because I couldn't get pregnant. Oh. You let your family downgrade me. Mate called me a homewrecker because you didn't want to go to your family and talk to your family. That was your choice. You're a grown man to make your own decisions. I didn't make them for you. You did that on your own. That was in the past. I want to be the man that you want me to be. You had your chance. It's over. I don't want to be with you. I can't even stand being around you. I still love you. I don't care. I I'll don't fight. love you. With every breath that I have, I will fight. There's nothing to Let's... fight. You're a great father. Be a great father. You don't need to be a husband no more. No. That's not going to happen. So he is good with your child? He's a great father. My son loves his daddy. Uh, does that enter into it? No. I mean, into your thinking? No. I can't stand to be around him anymore. And you love him? I love Steven. Me and Steven live together. We're going to be together. I don't want to be with you. Even our love... sex life is bad. It was bad. Are you still intimate with him once in a while? No. We okay. have not had sex in over a year. And then when we did have sex, someone would call. I answer the phone. I just lay there. Let this be over. Wait, while you're having sex with yeah. him, you're on the phone? it was always routine, always. I was straight up answer the phone. I've talked to my mother while, be, while having sex. Wait, you're having sex with your wife, and she's talking on the phone to your mother? To her mother? To her mother, yes. Yeah. She's done it a handful of times. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure she had a handful, otherwise she may not have called. Uh, why not? I'm just saying. Why not? Well, why? Just as a guy, why wouldn't you say, honey, could you put down the phone? This is an intimate moment. I mean, wouldn't that be a reaction from you? Yeah, it, it, should, it should have been a reaction from me. Yes, sex was bad. <laughs> I can be better. <laughs> it's too late. I don't want you. I don't She's want to be. She's already got a real man now. It's over. I love Tanya, and I love your son, but it's over. I mean, you've made your plea. Anything else you, you want to say? Because I know you want her, but can I hold your drink? Yes, yes please. Well, I have something for you. Oh. I got a charm bracelet. It shows right here that it's an L for the symbol of our son, our beautiful son that we had together. And our beautiful angel that God has given us as a blessing. And it is a blessing for you that, has given, that was given to me. And I got another one that's got a affinity symbol on it. 
shows my eternal love for you that no matter what happens, I will always love you. And our little dog that we got, our little mutt, that was part of our family that we always played with. You hated that dog. <laughs> And the heart that I have, and how much love that I have, that you always be in my heart. But for the dog, it's beautiful. It's I mean, very beautiful. But do you, feel, do you feel anything to? I mean, you see how he's suffering here. To be fair, I'm not saying you should go back. I mean, and it, your it business, seems but, harsh. It seems like I am being mean to you, but I have the right to be a bitch. I think I earned it. Yeah, you gotta earn rights to be a bitch. Yeah. Exactly. You can't. Exactly. You, have to. Yeah. you can't. You can't just step up and be one. You gotta earn it. I've had seven, over seven years of hell dealing with you. Dealing with you never standing up for me. Your family talking down to me like I'm a piece of crap. And now that you want to stand up for me, knowing you want me now, no. Why? I love you. And I have no more love for you. But I want to be that man that you always wanted me to be. It's kind of a little too late. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.